Okay, looking at chapter 10, section 7 in geometry, we're looking at areas of circles and sectors along with also segments. So the segments, uh, m the beginning is going to be fairly simple. Segments are going to be probably a more, is going to be the most difficult, but overall it shouldn't be too bad. So let's look at area of circles and sectors in this chapter 10, section 7. So, starting off, area of a circle. This shouldn't be anything surprisingly new to you all. So, the area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. Okay, so r, remember, is the radius of a circle. It's not the diameter, it's half the diameter. So, you take the radius, you square it, multiply by itself, and then you multiply it by pi. Now, when we're dealing with pi, we are either dealing with the pi button on our calculator, so the actual number 3.14159, yada, 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 or we keep it in terms of pi. So there's two separate ways that we could write our answers here. Okay. So let's look at this one. So we have this circle. So this circle has a diameter of 48, and we want to find what the area of this circle is. And so if the diameter is 48, that means that we're going to be dealing with an r of 24. Okay, so the r in this case would end up being 24 because it's half of it. So we end up having our number, and we're going to go 24 squared times pi, and we end up with 576 pi meters squared. Make sure you put what your unit is. So in this case, it's meters squared. Okay, so uh, 576 pi meters squared would be our unit. And that is in terms of pi. Now, if you multiplied it through and you use the pi button, you end up with about 1,809.557 meters per second squared. Now, if you're in terms of pi, how it is on the screen is how you would write it, as if it's asking for in terms of pi. If it's wanting you to round it, then you multiply pi into it. Okay, so just make sure you know what it's being asked for, depending on if it wants exact or not. Okay, so next example. How much pizza is in a four inch diameter pizza, how much more pizza, is in a 4 inch diameter pizza than a 12 inch diameter pizza. So you can think of this as you're comparing a medium and a large pizza. Okay, how much more pizza do you get in a large pizza compared to a medium pizza? So with this one, uh, take a second to think how you would set this up. Okay, so what you would probably want to do here is you'd probably want to take the larger pizza and subtract out the smaller pizza to see how much is left over. And it's not just going to be, oh, well, it's two inches difference, and it's just going to be pi. No, it's not going to just be pi. It's going to be larger than that. Because when you have your larger pizza, you end up with more area on the outside of it because it's farther away from the center. So what we would do here is that we'd end up taking the larger pizza, finding the area of it. So if the diameter is 14, that means that its radius would only be 7. 7 squared is 49. And so we take 49 pi. And we'd also take the area of the smaller pizza, which is 12. Half of that would be 6. So the radius of the smaller pizza would be 6. 6 squared is 36, leaving us with 14 pi minus 36 pi, giving us 13 pi. So that means that our difference between the medium and the large pizza is about 13 pi inches squared, which multiplied through gets you about 40.84 inches squared. So as you see, that larger pizza is actually fairly larger and not just a little bit larger than the smaller one. Okay, okay next up is a sector. So a sector, what we could be thinking of here is that we're trying to find the area of a slice of pizza or a piece of pie. Okay, So we're trying to find the area of a piece of pie that we have instead of the entire pie. And so what we're going to do here is that we're going to use the formula up above which I wrote out as ACB, is equal to the measure of arc AB, okay? The measure of arc AB, which is going to be your central angle. So basically your pizza or your pie, whatever that slice is, how big is that angle at the point? The bigger the angle, the larger the area. The smaller the angle, the smaller the area. We take that, divide it by 360, and then we multiply it by the area of the entire circle. Because if I only have, let's say, Let's say that angle is 90 degrees. 90 over 360 is a quarter. Well, 90 degrees is a quarter of a whole pizza. And so if I only have a quarter of a whole pizza, I end up with my answer. So with this one, I have a radius of 5 inches, because that's how long each side of my piece of pumpkin pie, best pie there is, um, for this. And so you multiply it, and you find your area. 
Uh, so it would be 5 squared times pi, so 25 pi. But then we have to multiply that by 30 over 360. Okay, So find the area of the pi. So that would be, the part I underline would be the entire area of the whole pi. And then we go 360 over, or 330 over 360, which reduces down to 1 twelfth. And so we end up with 1 twelfth times 25 pi, which gets us 25 pi over 12, or 6.545 inches squared. So that pi, the surface area, the top of it, is approximately 6.545 inches squared. So when we want to find the sector, we have to divide the entire area by how much of the circle we are dealing with. Okay, the last one is our segment. Now this is the most complicated one, and this formula is basically just go plug and chug. So this right here and this right here are going to be the same number. Okay, You want to make sure your calculators are in degrees because we're not going to be dealing with radians on this. So make sure it's in degrees. The way to check it is push sign 90 and you should get 1. If you don't, you're in radians, which means you got to switch it. So we're just going to plug everything in. So we need to know what the radius is and we need to know what the angle is. And once we know that, we can find the segment of a circle. Now a segment of a circle is that green segment right there. So it's kind of like the fingernail part of a circle. And what ends up happening is that you take the area of a sector and then you subtract out the triangle that's formed right here. Okay, So you end up subtracting out that triangle. This is just a formula, so you just have to plug it in, so you don't have to do two separate formulas, it's just one big one. Plug it in piece by piece. So in this case, the R is 2, and the M arc AB would be 80, because that's the central angle. So we'd plug everything in, and we'd start simplifying it. Okay, So it'd be 2 squared, blah, 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 blah. You end up all the way down to 0 0.8229 inches squared, and that would be the area. So again, what I would do is I'd do it piece by piece. You don't have to do these in exact. Okay, I'm not going to ask you any time to put this in exact answers because it's just going to be uh, fairly large. It's going to be two separate, or it's going to be uh, a fairly large fraction that you're going to be finding. Uh, so just put it in, um, estimate what it is, multiply pi into the answer to see what you get. And as you see, you should get that. Okay, so in this example, it'd be 0 0.8229 inches squared. Okay. All right, so take a minute, find the area of this segment that we have for this circle. Okay, so you should have plugged in 16 in for the r squared, or into r, and then you should have plugged in 135 in for a b, m a b. And when you do that, you end up with an answer of approximately 211.072 units squared. As you see, this part right here is the whole segment in parentheses. As you see, I did that whole segment first, got my decimal, then I just multiplied all three of those numbers together and I got my answer. That's one way of doing it. That would probably be the easiest way, is to deal with all that sign, that pi, get a decimal, and then you just have to do a straight multiplication. Okay. Just to make life easy, break it down in parts. This formula should get you the same, the correct answer every single time. All right. So uh, take a minute, find the area of this segment and sector. Okay, and then um, I'll give you a minute or so before this video starts back up, or a second. Okay. So. Uh, you should have gotten your answers for those. You can check them, okay? But it's just going to be plugging into your answers um, and getting them. So uh, this is your homework from this section, 577, numbers 2 through 22 events. Okay, so make sure you complete those out of your textbook.